Hi everyone, this is Theo from ParkerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review this pen display that's behind me. This is the Ace Pen AP2150. This is actually just a monitor that you can draw on with a pen. And this was sent over to me by this company called Gearbest. So I guess you can say that this is a sponsored review, but I'm actually not paid any money to make this review. Gearbest is a website that sells a lot of electronic items and this is just one of the many pen displays that they sell. Now this review today is going to be a bit long so if you want to save some time you can actually just check out the text review that I have written. I will put the link in the video description below. The content in the text review is exactly the same as what you are going to watch in this video. This pen display is actually connected to my Mac right now. If I do use this with Windows in the future, I will update my text review. All right, let's uh, take a look at what's included with this pen display. These are all the accessories and cables included. Let's go through them one by one. So this is a USB cable. This is to connect the computer to the monitor so that it can recognize the pen input. This is a HDMI cable, full-size port here. This is the Incheon VGA cable. This is really old. And we have the power adapter and the power cable. This is a three pin plug. I think depending on where you are, they may give you the appropriate number of pins for, for your location. And let's take a closer look at this. This is a nice little pouch. The front has some fabric-like material and the back has some leather-like material. I'm pretty sure this is not real leather, but it feels like it is. Let's see if I can put this pen into the pouch. The pen is a bit too long for the pouch, so this is not going to be used for transporting the pen. Maybe it's used for transporting the cable. That's the charging cable for the pen. So it fits very nicely into the pouch. So this charging cable is a USB cable. One side goes to the computer and this side, it goes into the port, the charging port at the back of the pen, like this. This is the pen. It's quite lightweight. It feels a bit plasticky though, but I think for drawing purposes, it works fine. Two buttons on the side here. I'm not too sure about the battery life, but it should last for weeks. Anyway, even if the battery runs low, you can charge it and still use it at the same time. This rubber grip section that extends all the way to the back here, this is prone to attracting dust. I actually prefer a solid plastic body rather than this rubber grip because I have used many similar pens before and all the rubber grips, they all attract dust. So this is the tip here. It's very easy to remove using the nib remover. And this is the pen stand. This feels very well built and solid. You can put the pen vertically or horizontally on it. And you can open it up to review eight replacement tips. And this is the nib remover. And lastly, we have these three items. This is the driver disc. This is actually a ballpoint pen with some feather attached to it. I have never seen feather like this before where the individual strands of hair stick together like this. This is quite interesting. I'm not sure if it's actually real. And this is the cap for the ballpoint pen. This cap is actually quite loose. It's just this rubber attached to the round thing behind and you just put it onto the ballpoint like this. It's quite easy to come off and I'm not sure if you can actually replace the ink refill inside this pen. Finally, we have a glove that's included. This is the 21.5 inch pen display. The physical design of this looks very similar to some of the other pen displays that I have reviewed before. Let's take a look at this screen. So there's actually a protective film that's pasted over the screen. So I'm going to remove that right now. 
After that protective film has been removed, we are presented with a matte screen surface. This is actually still a screen protector, so the actual surface is still glass, but this is a nice matte surface to draw on. Unfortunately, the screen protector is not pasted on perfectly, so we have some bubbles here and here and here as well so these are the bad things but the good thing is there are no bubbles on the actual drawing area here so that's good these are the display controls at the bottom right side that's the power button menu button and some other buttons these are the ports located on the back at the bottom this is the usb port the power port full-size hdmi this is dvi note that no dvi cable is included this is the ancient VGA port. This is the stand that's attached to the monitor. This is actually removable, so if you want to use the monitor on a VESA arm, you can just remove this whole stand here. Just unscrew the screws here, adjust the latch, and unscrew these two screws here as well, so you can remove the whole stand. And this is the latch that moves the adjustable leg. I've managed to set up the monitor by connecting the HDMI cable to my Mac. I've also color calibrated the screen using the Spider 5 Pro calibrator. And the readout that I got was 98% sRGB and 77% Adobe RGB support. So color support for this IPS screen, this is quite good. This is the display with the stand all the way down like this. So you can release the latch behind and push the display down. So this is the lowest angle that it can go. However, at this angle, it's actually resting on the cables beneath. So it wobbles slightly. I usually do not use it at this angle because of the wobble. I need to pull up the monitor slightly like this so that all the four rubber feet are actually on the ground and this will prevent the monitor from moving around. This is the display from the front. Notice as I move the display down, the two rubber feet, they will go up. And at this position, the monitor is actually resting on the cables underneath it. I'm not sure if this will harm the cable or affect the durability of the cable, but I would not draw with the display like this. I will make sure that the rubber feet are always on the table. The matte screen protector on the glass surface provides a really nice texture to draw with the pen. Unfortunately, it does affect the image quality. So the sharpness is affected and it looks like there is some sort of a haze cast over the whole screen. Earlier on while I was editing a video, I was watching my video play and I wasn't exactly sure that the video was sharp or not so because of the screen protector this screen may not be suitable for people who want to edit photos or video unless you remove the screen protector for drawing purposes i think it's all right but remember again that the sharpness is affected that's the compromise you have to deal with when using a matte screen protector to get that paper-like feeling when drawing a matte surface screen is just not as sharp compared to a glossy screen. Even for Wacom Cintiq where the screen is matte even without a protector, those screens are not as sharp compared to glossy screens. This is the close-up of the screen. I just want to let you see the sharpness that's affected by the screen protector. There aren't a lot of settings you can change with the tablet driver. You can change the pressure sensitivity. You can customize the two buttons on the side, but these two buttons can only be customized to click actions. And there's this tab here that allows you to calibrate the screen and the pen to remove parallax. There is definitely some parallax because there is a little gap between the glass display and the actual screen. Now this view is from the perspective of my camera. This is how it looks like after calibration from my point of view. The cursor is directly beneath the tip. Be careful not to lose this driver disc because when I went online to do a search on the company name Ace Pen, I wasn't able to find any company 
website and I also did not find the company that actually makes this display now notice that there is no logo on the front of this display the only logo is on the sticker that's pasted right at the back of this monitor if you do lose this driver CD it's good to know that another pen display driver can actually be installed and can be used with this display and the uh, name of that model is UG2150 in fact right now I'm using the driver from that particular model because I think that it works slightly better with the pen all right let's test out the different apps that are on my Mac now the first thing I want you to notice is when I put my pen like this in the hover mode notice that this cursor is moving around frantically so this is actually a hardware problem with this particular pen anyway i'm going to use it to let you see how it draws so pressure sensitivity works let's zoom in closer to take a look at the lines to see whether or not they are smooth so i can see some jitter you can see some jitter here lines like this they are supposed to be smooth but here i can see some jitter let me zoom in at 200 percent to draw so earlier on this was drawn at 100 percent usually at 200 percent the lines are going to be smoother and indeed they are smoother so we don't have the jitter anymore and usually when I'm drawing, I actually zoom in to 200% to draw. So it's not really uh, an issue here. Now, the thing with this particular pen is I do not know when that jitter problem is going to come back. And when it actually comes back, sometimes the lines that I get will appear like this. I am not kidding you. So this is definitely a hardware problem. I mean, now I'm actually shaking the pen. But just now while I was drawing, before I started recording, this is the type of line that I was getting but now it seems like it's working fine and this brings me to another problem because there is no company website I'm not sure who you should contact in the event of a hardware problem another thing that I want you to know is this pen design is exactly the same as the UG pen design so these two pens are identical except this pen from Ace Pen it doesn't have that logo on it and I can use the UG pen to draw as well and it works perfectly this UG pen works exceptionally well even better compared to the Ace Pen stylus pressure works really nicely notice how the strokes how they taper they taper very smoothly very gradually and that's really nice let me switch over to using the ace pen so this is the ace pen stylus i think it works fine now I'm not sure when that jitter problem is going to come back so that's the issue that I have let's see if I can create some dots I'm actually using the UG driver right now with the ace pen driver when I tap on the screen it was very difficult to create dots like this but with the UG driver for some reason I can create dots like this very easily so that's good and now I'm going to try to draw a very thin line just to test out how sensitive that pen is and it's really quite sensitive I can apply a very light pressure on the screen and get a very faint line and this is the sort of variation I can get within a stroke this is Adobe Illustrator CS5 and pressure does not work so I have already chosen a brush but this pressure setting here this is blanked out so I cannot select it I have tried installing Wacom Intos driver in addition to the Ace Pen driver on this display and sometimes when you have the Wacom driver pressure 
may work with Illustrator but in this case after I installed that driver the brush does not even work in Illustrator so it made the problem worse so there is no pressure with Illustrator CS5 I'm not sure if pressure will work with Illustrator CC version but I'm still using the old Illustrator and pressure does not work here this is Medibank Paint Pro and pressure works here and the lines they are really very smooth notice how the lines how they taper they taper quite gradually the transition between thin and thick is also very nice it works perfectly with Medibank Paint Pro this is Mischief and pressure works here very nicely when I use the apps that I have on my Mac I did not notice any lack whatsoever the lines they almost always appear instantly beneath the tip and it's quite accurate after you calibrate the screen to remove the parallax if you actually see some lag on this video it's probably because of my camera settings I'm only shooting at 25 frames per second this is Kritar pressure works here as well this is Tayasui Sketches Pro I'm using this brush here and notice that the curves they are very smooth I believe that this app actually applies some smoothening effect on the lines that's why the curves they are so smooth pressure works here as well but the effect of the brush will actually override the pressure sometimes this is affinity photo and pressure works here as well what I can see that the lines they are a bit jittery all right let's do a quick pros and cons recap about this pen display the build quality is quite decent as far as the design goes this is a functional design nothing too good or bad to shout about because a lot of other manufacturers actually use the exact same design in fact here we do not even have the brand on the display itself now the matte screen protector that is pasted over it it's really nice to draw on however it affects the image quality more specifically it affects the sharpness so if you are getting this pen display for photo or video editing it's going to be a bit difficult to actually see whether or not your photo or video is perfectly sharp this is an IPS panel so the color reproduction is actually quite good I measured 98% as RGB support so that's really good now the drawing functionality overall I feel that it's quite satisfactory um, I do not have a lot of issue except with this particular pen where I think there is some hardware issue so sometimes when I start my computer when I start drawing I have lines that jitter very violently but after a while the jitter goes away so uh, I think it's a problem with this particular pen because when I switch to another pen the pen from UG it works perfectly so definitely there is some hardware issue with this uh, this pen that I have here with me now this brings me to one problem which is the company now I'm not sure if Ace Pen is the name of the company or the brand that is made by another company the thing is if there is something wrong with the hardware how do you get support where do you get support there is no website with the company so I'm not sure who you should uh, contact should you contact the seller because I see a lot of website listing this pen display as uh, coming with one year warranty so who should you contact that is something that you should ask the seller if you do intend to, to buy one of this since there is no company website do not expect any updates to the drivers in the future so you just have to use this pen display and the driver as it is and hopefully when you upgrade your windows or mac os in the future this display will continue to work uh, one good thing is you can actually use the ug2150 pen driver with this display so uh, that's a good thing because that driver actually works slightly better compared to the ace pen driver that is provided 
The last thing I want to talk about is the pricing of this pen display. At the time of this review, I went over to Gearbest website to take a look and it's selling for 370 US dollar. And that is actually quite an amazing price because for a pen display that is 21 inch like this with 1080p resolution, usually it sells for US $450 and above. So this is currently priced lower than that. So whether or not it's worth the money, I guess you have to look at the pros and cons. I guess the most important con or thing that's questionable about this pen display is the type of support you will get uh, in the event of any hardware issues. So do ask the seller what kind of support you can expect uh, in those situations. So that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If I have any updates to my video review, I will put those updates in my text review. You can visit the link in the video description below. And if you are interested to find out more information about this pen display or where you can buy one, I will put those links in the video description below as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.